and he's just a streamer. Or Snasky. No, nah, Fruity was better than Snasky. Oh, I'm clipping that. I'm sending it to him. S Snasky, uh, Snasky was is, is definitely leftovers. Uh, Snasky is Iconic. definitely uh, more in shape. I will say though, <laughs> Snasky is a he is. Mm, Hold on, a snack. It's go time. Best of seven. We got a like I said, a little bit longer series. I don't know and where I put my phone. We're kicking it off with the three v oh, three oh, action. Le le yeah, it's right. Lemon, it's right on the counter. Thanks, Lemon. Legend. And like I said at the beginning of the one v one match, I do just want to say a quick thank you to the players for making some time to play. Always appreciate them putting on a show for us. Hold on. There's an infield look. Shot was there, but pretty easily blocked away. Really just kind of, uh, just kind of both sides kind of poking a bit. See what they can find. And it's interesting that they did just pick threes out of the gate. Well, I'm, I, I, so I told them threes. Oh, you told them threes? Yeah, okay. yeah, threes for game one and then from there. Yeah, because then everyone can play. Yeah, everyone can play. Yeah, that, that's another thing, too. I didn't put any restrictions or rules in place about, you know, each player has to play this many games or anything like that. Just let them do whatever they want. Whatever Start with they threes, want. threes, do whatever right. you want. Love that catch. Ooh. Can we put it up where the uh, we see who has position? There we go. Thank you. Press H. Oh, okay. Whoops. Goodness gracious, Clavin. <laughs> just, do we, can we just end the stream? It's awful. This guy. All right, now we know. Mister. 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 It's hard to say that for me. Whoa. Mitzer. 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 He's Mit the one. Mister Mitzer. Punched it off the ceiling to a teammate. Matt took the shot. And the follow-up was knocked home by Mitzer. So France have a 1-0 lead. We got a lot of time on the clock. Plenty for Denmark to mount their comeback. But again, it is only game one, and there's plenty, plenty more Rocket League to be played, as well as, you know, I'm curious what you all think. Is it, I mean, is it even maybe advantageous to lose early here? No. No? No. Because, I mean, well, I guess I didn't get all the rules explained to me. If you lose. Lose, you choose the next mode. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't say so because my personal opinion is, is France is France. Sure. They're just goaded on the sticks. They are goaded on the sticks, yeah. It doesn't matter. And I think it's pretty fair to, to always kind of have the opinion, like, you need to win when you can win. Period. Exactly. Yeah, you should never be trying to lose. Sure, sure. Don't don't be like that one team. That one team. That one team that right. went you to you know where. Yep. I'm not even – if you know, you know. That's right. Because they but ended so, up getting banned but so intentionally I, losing. I ask, though, because that you think. So if you lose game one, I think if you – like – Hypothetically, you will choose the next one and win it. Yep. Right. So then they would choose two, but then you get to choose if they, you know, if it goes back and forth, do you get who gets? Are that you like trying to figure out who would get to pick game seven? Right. I don't know how it works. If it flip flops every game, so if you pick one, three, five, seven, so. But no one picks no one. No one picks one. No, it so definitely that would. That whoever it, picks three, if you alternate every game, then you would pick game right. seven. So you definitely don't want to lose game yeah, one. Yeah, you want to win game one. Yeah. So you can pick game seven. All right, well, we found it out. It is, but crazy take. It is advantageous to win. It is. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> also, no, no disrespect to Denmark. I just think uh, everybody knows that France is... Uh, France is a special nation and a special community within Rocket League. Mm -hmm. And Mitzer's been a big part of this. Actually, uh, that's a nice touch for Matt as well, but Mitzer has been generating the kind of opening piece of the play. 
you know, the one of the previous goals, he was air dribbling up to the ceiling, beat one, and pinched it down to a teammate for a shot. And right there, we see him doing some heavy lifting as well to initiate the play, where Matt punched it across, and Eugene was there for the finish. France does have a two-goal lead. We're closing in on the final 60 seconds, so at this point, all they really need is to just maintain that possession. Tempo and the Dominus with the Psionics cap. Beautiful preset. Eugen. And there's another shot. That one actually pinched wide. No one in the middle to receive the pass for Denmark. Ooh. But this is actually a ball game now. Here oh, yeah. Go. That's a great look across. Oh, it's actually Eugene that poked it away. I thought Edgeby sent it over. Tempo with a nice chip to an open net. But the clock is, I mean, we've only got 38 seconds, so Denmark does not have much wiggle room. They need to grab this possession as quickly oh, as possible. Oh, this is a good kickoff, though. Look at Matt up super early. Pushing oh, high. going for the double. Oh! Edgeby with 32 seconds left. They wasted absolutely no time. I thought I mean, Matt, that was the perfect kickoff. That's it was. That's exactly what you need to do. Denmark. It is, it is, uh, is it cold in Denmark? I think so. Does it get icy? Um, I don't know. Because I was going to say, they got the ice in their frozen nation, but I I just was in Denmark and it was really hot. <laughs> so, sidewall double. No contact. That's a nice touch from Nico. Keep it close. Whoa, the one, two, three. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Good save. Double commit, though. Mr. Mitzer <laughs> up in the air. Mr. Mitzer. Oh! oh! Still up, still up, still up! All right, yeah, you can never do that again, and we wouldn't be upset. <laughs> I was really hoping that you did not hold that for the whole zero <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Crazy that Denmark is even in this game right now. <laughs> James. Well, to be fair, and this is no disrespect, but we don't have the absolute tip top of France here. We don't have Zin, right? It's funny to me how you say Zen. You say it like Zin. Zin? Zin? You say Zin instead Zin? of Zen. Yeah, it's like pin and pin. Yeah. Yeah. Pin and pen. Yeah. Pad. That makes me feel like I'm saying pan. pan. I said pin and pen. I know, but pin is a pin. If yeah. I say it like you're saying, it makes me sound or feel like I'm saying pan. What are you talking about? You're saying pen. My brain is struggling right now. Like you write with a pen. <laughs> I thought you said pen. <laughs> write with a pen. That is how I would say it. Back to the like action. a safety pin <laughs> or a pen. Pull the pin. <laughs> Just throw it on me right now. Oh, big boost grab. I like that pass to the middle, but tempo was too far away. Double tap, pass, drop down, Nico. Going for a bump, but Matt dodged it. And another oh. bump out of the air, kind of messed up the hit. Your chaos, uh -oh. ball collected from uh -oh. Nico. Nico, though, had edge feet going for a bump instead of trying to receive that pass. Eugen, musty pass attempt. This ball launched all the way down. Boost grabbed here from Mitzer. Mitzer contested, will be able to stay behind it. 50 though, doesn't go France's way. Denmark the late surge. Spooky 50 there. Ooh. Ball has spent quite a bit of time down here on the blue side. Denmark able to some extended pressure, but not too many chances manifesting. And that might be what France needed. Not the greatest touch from Mitzer, but he pops high. Matt towards the backboard. Oh, that's covered up and cleared to the other side. 
Mitzer trying to get a 50, couldn't get the challenge. Edge B. Defended well by Matt. Probably not the same Matt that was on Rogue all, all the way back. That's right. I can tell because this Matt only has one T. That's right. Probably also oh, speaks French. I would assume. Good setup uh -oh. here for Mitzer. Mitzer uh -oh. to the backboard. The double. Oh, ah. didn't read the double. I was expecting a double on that. Hey, if we've got a few more games of this kind of action, I like this. OT in game one, three minutes of OT as well. I feel like uh, it's a good chance we'll see threes or twos. I'm, I'm doubting we'll see a 1v1. So the, the, well, the one rule that I made is we can't do the same mode twice. All right, so, so they, it's probably they could flip between. They uh, could go twos and threes back and forth if they wanted to. So the next game, you can only pick twos one or, or ones. Twos. Yep, okay. yep. I I think we will see one v one. A do. lot of these a lot of these guys do play ones regularly. Oh, that was close to Denmark snagging this first game. I mean, if you if you are the alpha that will go out and play ones in a crew battle, respect to you. Almost a full extra game in overtime. Good beat. That's here. Forcing the hit wide. Testing the backboard. That's here. Chooses to keep it close. It's under tempo. But can't get the 50 oh. chance now for Edgeby to do some damage. And that oh. is going to be game. Look at that. The air dribble up top. He's able to pinch that back down to a teammate, Nico. Narrowly beats Matt to the touch. And Denmark, they take the, the first comeback. game in the series. And it was a comeback as well. It sure was. 3v3s go to Denmark. We'll, uh, we'll wait for word from our producer to see what the next game mode will be. And, and honestly, I was really impressed with Edgeby. Like, oh, it, yeah. it, it, that, that game was coming down to the wire. Mm -hmm. if, you ha if you remember, I mean, obviously, you know, if you were watching the whole time, maybe you remember, but if you're just tuning in, because it basically had a whole extra game. Right. France was winning for pretty much that whole game, and there was a kickoff goal from Denmark. Uh, that was when they really turned it around, and Edgeby was the clutch player, if I'm not mistaken, that put it in. You know, got the ball up high, mm -hmm. read the defense, put yeah. the ball to the double tap to the backboard for the double tap. And even on that last play, uh, Edge B seems like that big threat in the middle of the field who can uh, take that ball up high, yeah. read the defense, make a miss. So impressive stuff there. Denmark getting the dub. It sounds like we're going to be going to 2v2s next. And we don't know. Uh, uh, they might know. Uh, well, we don't know the rosters that they're going to throw out there. We'll see when we load into the map who is... Uh, Who's taking the pitch for Denmark and France? We should we should switch to that one scene that has all the cameras, but switch one of the cameras with the, your close up cam. The one, the one on the bottom, bottom right. There we, there we go. go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, game number two. So look here, we have Mitzer and Eugen versus Nico and Tempo. Interesting. So maybe, they're, maybe they're saving Edge B for ones. They're saying, like, you'll play ones. Potentially, so play yeah. Twos. Potentially. That could be exactly what's happening. Um, and it may be. I know Matt. Um, I was telling the stream earlier. Matt has played a 1v1 match on my stream. Eugen has played many. So, and, and all three of the, the Danish players have played on the stream. So I know all these guys are comfortable with the, uh, with the 1v1 world. Um, you've probably seen way more gameplay from all these players than yeah. I have. Well, who, who, who did you think had the edge? So I think Eugen mechanically is uh, has a ton of upside moving forward. He is, I mean, he, he is just one of those those you know newer talents, younger talents that is so mechanically capable. You know, fluidity with movement is is so. Uh, you know, aesthetic or pleasing to watch, I guess. I mean, everything you're describing reminds uh, reminds me of me. 
Right, exactly. Just think of a Justin younger French. James Bond. Yes, that's right. A younger French James Bond, and that is that is Eugen. So you, you're leading France is what you're telling me. That's right. Even in the threes, like just in the whole show match, you think France probably has the edge? Um, I don't know if I would say that. I don't know if I would say that. The Tempo and Edgeby definitely have the most current success in 3v3s. They made the majority of main events this season. Tempo plays for Wild. And Edgeby plays for Fast Forward. Those are two names that you may have. Yeah, um, Ratsa played for Fast Forward at some point, and yep. uh, Cookser played for Wild, I'm pretty sure. I think you're right. Um, so they may they may have the edge in 3v3s, at the very least, in in, in RLCS experience. Uh, but I think all these players, I think it's I think it's a fairly close um, a fairly close call. It really just depends on who plays. Who it's plays on the day. Games. It's really yeah, on the day. That's right. I like that challenge there from Mitzer to be able to get the challenge but also snag the boost. It's those little plays, little things like mm -hmm. that. Separation. Ooh, awkward. A lot I'll, of boost wasted on that. I'll tell you what I hope that we see. I hope we get to see one, at least one 1v1 match. Um, and I hope they throw Tempo out. Edge B uh, is, is, and Nico are both fantastic 1v1 talents as well, but Tempo has a unique style with that Dominus. It's um, no, he's based or what? It, it's not not necessarily no. Uh, he does use the length of the car, but it's more of like a it's more of like unique dodges and like touches in the air more than anything. And then he is a sharpshooter with the Dominus. You know, pokes it to the top corners quite well. The Dominus was that was actually the car I used to play way back in the day, like back in 2016. Dominus with ripper wheels. Oh, it does seem like you can boom, boom from mm -hmm. a, a, on the Dominus much better. Oh, huge challenge win! You should put it towards the target, but a quick recovery there allows Nico to sweep that away. I like the possession play. Dominus, though, a dying breed. We it used is. To see, we used to see it so much more from, like, OCE players, but even now it's, I feel like that has gone away. Yeah. Not really many Dominus players anymore. Flat cars in general, too, you know. And I know that the, the breakout and Batmobile were never super popular. Oh. Hold on. Nico from the right side. They see bait. the double commit, yeah. low boost. Yep, tempo. Mitzer going way out for that corner. Got got hungry for boost. Mm -hmm. Tempo, the the original air dribble was so threatening that, like you said, they, they double commit there and just find themselves in an awkward position. 60 seconds. You know what it's set up well for? What? A tying goal to send us to overtime. If France loses two here, I'm curious, do they go back to threes? Or do you think they... I mean, you might as well try the one game mode you haven't played, right? That's what I would think, too, but maybe they feel or, like they Or they, they want revenge, because they did have right. the lead. Well, that's what I was going to say. Maybe they felt like they Denmark stole that game one, and maybe they should have, have won it, so... And then, I'm, of course, I'm curious, will one of these teams just force the other to play ones, right? You know what Rocket League needs? What? Well, I'll wait for the end of this game. Oh, good extra touch. Maybe one final chance. Eugen has some space to work with, a teammate in support, but Nico, with back a big challenge wins. win, knocks it to the ground, and Denmark are up 2-0 in the series. Wow. Surprising. Yeah. How that, that, that went down. Um, but what I was saying is I would love if there was like a a committee back like we used to do way back in the day a committee for power rankings mm -hmm. like yeah. one that's kind of unofficially endorsed by the community and have it for every play play uh or every game mode yeah one two three. oh threes. i see okay that would be fun because then it'd be fun you know i think it's just it's just a fun thing to do it, uh, it gives everyone something to talk about and yeah. also it recognizes the player's ability well let me when we get done with this remind me and i want to show you i have a rating system for my stream so it's not the exact same thing but i want to show like you what scientific 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I'd love that. Uh, uh, I just like I just uh, was looking at like Smash had a whole they have on their wiki like a whole list of the power rankings and I I remembered back in the day we used to do committee based power rankings yep. that were like unofficial Reddit community ones. Right. That was, and it was a lot of fun to be a part of. Like I really enjoyed that. Oh yeah. The post every hey, well, and like you said, it's it's some extra content for people to talk about and debate about and discuss and. Even even from the players' perspective too, it's like, oh, well, they're underrating me or our team, so we're gonna we're gonna get out there and show what we can do. And they do, and also notable here, France going back to three v threes, perhaps feeling like they got cheated out of that first game, which they did lead most of and mm -hmm. gave it away at the end. I'm gonna look at the your website right from my phone. Yeah, you can do it. So we've got the little spoiler, spoiler thing up there. First minute of gameplay. Nothing uh, too wild from either side. Uh-oh, not the greatest touch from Edgeby. And they will concede from it, France and Eugen. Just gonna punch one in. Edgeby just caught in an awkward spot on defense. Couldn't make the desired touch. This is crazy, this must have been expensive. So, well, we'll talk about it later, but. That's cool. I'm checking out that website on my phone. I wanna Very I wanna use it to maybe run like run some leagues on my channel. Oh, that'd you know, be like cool. smaller. Yeah. Eight eight player one v one league or something like that. Ten player one v one league. Did uh, somebody in your community write that? Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah. It's a uh, it's definitely cool. It just kind of logs things and gives the player something to like look at and. Yeah, historical Cause, cause like a Yeah, exactly. Because and, and have you been to my stream where you could see that bottom bar scrolling? So, like, I could implement, you know, this month's leading, you know, leading player or right leading scorer yeah, or cool. whatever. Um, or sponsors. Yeah, yeah. Well, I was going to say one of the things with this, like, historical evidence that you're talking about, Edgeby ended up on his debut on the stream, he won five straight, right? Mm. So, went 5-0. and oh, and at the moment, that's the longest streak that we've had as like far as Danish Zen, right? And so I tweeted about it, and there were players reaching out, said, "I want to play. I want to end the streak." Oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. So I, I was like, "This is," they, they, to some degree, it makes it a little more fun. Oh, 100 percent. You know, it gives it a little bit more weight, I guess. No, it's it's why people love having the old ESL results on Wikipedia and stuff. Like yeah. just having having that record of results is big. Oh, big, talk about big stuff. That was a massive save there from France to deny the shot from Denmark. France again holding on to the lead like they did in game one. Denmark managed to come back in the end. Will they be able to do the same thing again? There's a team bump. Edgeby getting bumped off the ball. Mitzer looking for Eugen Mech. To the corner now, double tap pass out to the middle, easily handled by Nico. Mm. Lead blocker. Mitzer, fantastic work on the goal line to evade the oncoming bump or demo attempt. Stands tall for the save, and now France had the other way. It's Mitzer, 1v1. What a flick. Oh. I mean, that was, you couldn't have asked much more from Mitzer on that flick. That was so precise. Fantastic defense, though. Final minute of gameplay, and it looks like France had the right call with the 3v3. Again, they're on top, but they cannot make the same mistake and concede late. Nico to the sidewall. Matt will meet him there for a challenge in the corner, but only out into the midfield. And there's your player that you mentioned, Edgeby, trying to generate something for this Denmark team in the final moments. 20 seconds left to go. 
Oh. Oh, I thought Denmark had a chance there. Good patience from Matt, but he gets cut off by Temple, who almost landed the bump. Little touch. What a touch. Matt throwing off the defense just enough to kill even more time. Good fake. Oh, and that's going to be game for France. They take the win. It looks like they do have the edge in 3v3s, and now I'm definitely expecting... Uh, well, I guess you can't have two modes back to back, but I don't think Denmark will ever pick threes. Yeah, I agree. Because they've been they they were losing game one. There it's, it's kind of you know they're probably thankful they got that game. Um, and then this time as well, France having the edge. Twos. The majority of time. Twos. Um, and uh, confirmation there, it is twos. I think really the the only question is, will we see ones? Will we see will ones? Will we see ones? I don't think so. Maybe not. I don't think so. But who knows? I'm almost done with my. If Denmark uh, lose this, they might try. Right, they might try ones. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably might go the back scenario. To yeah, that's they, probably I, the scenario. They're, they're, they're probably if all they keep winning twos, they'll keep picking twos. Probably. Right, right. Hmm. I should have made a rule: if ones is never chosen, game seven is ones. That's, I don't know. I don't know if I'd like that because then they'd be like pigeonholed into ones if it's game seven. That'd be terrible. Actually. That rule would suck. Well, for them, it'd be great for yeah. us. <laughs> Imagine like it's an intense game and then <laughs> you go to one v ones and it's ten to two. That's funny. All right, same squads: Mitzer Eugen versus Nico Tempo, and and, and they Denmark can did win this matchup last time. Yeah. And they can switch it up, by the way. There's no rule that says they have to lock the same rosters. There's a big beat by Mitzer leaving the net open. And Eugen will put one in for France. And, uh, I mean, we could be seeing a tie series. Obviously, it's early in game four. But France has the opportunity now to tie up the series at 2-2. And I do want to set the record straight for yep. uh, Sean in chat that I did offer... Who do you, who, uh, some hot chocolate he did. if he wanted some? He did. The only reason I declined is because I'm probably going to get some coffee when we finish up. Okay. So I don't want to do multiple hot drinks, you know? Yeah, no, for sure. And there's no there's no caffeine in, hot, in this hot chocolate. Right. Well, I want to try this. Um, what is it, Matt? Mug shots. Mug shots. Mug shots. There's another one that everybody keeps telling me about, Madcap. Madcap coffee, yeah. Yeah. So like that, you see how he comes off the wall, and yep. it's a li it's just unique. Some of his movement and, and the air rolling and whatnot. That's uh, I think it's just um, oh no oh what a save it's scary. I think it just looks different from a defensive POV, you know, yeah, from, it's, from it's, your your more standard Finnick and octane rolling and moving. You don't see it as often. He he does this thing where he will tilt the nose down, and then almost flick it in a way where the like follow through of the flick is what makes contact, like a, like a fairy. You remember fairy? You see that uh -huh. flick on the ground. He he pulls a lot of that kind of stuff in the air, and it's just a, I think it's deceiving because it's a bit different than what uh, what you might see with harder to read. Right. He's in a tough position here. Up early, red oh, well. Oh baby, my goodness! Got the double. Pitzer has to be careful though not to overcommit on zero boost. It's going to be awkward. Might get help from Eugen there, but oh. no, I mean, you could see, you <laughs> he, saw it developing. Yeah, he was there. Just need, I mean, I kind of feel like Eugen needs to take this ball. Yeah. Because he sees that. Uh, oh, he, he could have Mitzer too. He has no boots. Right, right. So. Oh. That's a great pinch on the sidewall. Tempo was back to cover, had that been on target. Oh! oh. Speedy Mitzer. The quickness in the corner, one touch, and look at that recovery. Look at the angle, too. Yeah, Just that was wild. Thread the needle right over the top of Nico, under the crossbar. Preposterous. Hey, Rookie, I thank you for the raid, man. I appreciate that. Hope the stream went well. Sorry, I'm scratching my face and I hit my mic. <laughs> That's all right. We're at the halfway point now. 
France do hold their one goal lead. Somebody in chat said Matzer. Is it Matzer or is it Mitzer? They may have been making fun of how we said it. Because there's another player named Matt. Yes. Maybe that's a common name. Oh! In what a. What a play from Tempo on defense. Making the slightest of touches. Evading the. Evading the bump attempt from Eugen. Oh, that's a oh, shot. That's nice. That's a goal. Mitzer really taking the reins in this game. In the one goal, Matt, uh, Mitzer didn't score. Nice demo. Mm -hmm. Did set it up as well. Mm -hmm. Beat both of the defenders of Denmark. Got the dub. And so this is now going to be curious. I think this now makes it much more likely that we will see Denmark go for ones. Because imagine this scenario. You lose this game. France is tied up two games apiece. Uh, if you get the next pick and you win ones, like maybe the matchup's super favorable, you win ones, then no, if you lose again, you, you can get win the choice, game on ones. Right. So. The French casters used to say Metzer. 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 But they're also French, so you got accents. Also, Aiden drops a fun fact. Metzer was a Switch player. That's crazy. There was, there's the only other Switch player I know is Life. And Life Cheese. Was, no way Cheese was a Switch player. Yeah. Cheese spent like almost 4,000 hours on Switch. Are you serious? No, I, yeah. He was like one of the top ranked players before he moved over to PC. That's crazy. My, I, so I'm a boomer, so I'm not the greatest at memeing. But my favorite meme that I've ever made was about Cheese. Are okay. you familiar with Naruto? I am familiar. Do you know when... Lee takes his weights off. Yep, yep. And they yep, yep, slam yep, yep, yep. on the floor. Uh huh. I said that that was cheese moving from Switch oh, to, to PC. Beat. Yeah. That was That's my, very accurate. That was my favorite, favorite Piccolo, meme. Piccolo I ever made. did the same thing in Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. When he drops the equipment off. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I remember. Tempo. Well, unless we see a Denmark goal right now, France will be. Oh. They'll be tying things up. Denmark definitely giving it their best effort, but yeah, it's going to be game. So now, uh, I think if we are going to see ones, this will be. This is when we will see it. Which I mean, I think it makes sense to do because you lost three. I mean, they they did win a threes game. They, you know, won, you know, went ahead in the final seconds, won in overtime. But yeah. I think this is probably when you pull the trigger on ones. Mm -hmm. Just go for it. Do you think they'll send out like the like you? Theorize earlier. You think we're saving Edgeby in yeah, case that? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. What do we get? We're waiting for word. Waiting for word. There's deliberation. There is. They're thinking about it. They're strategizing. It is ones. Let's one go. One v one. <laughs> okay, that is exciting. I'm, I, I am thrilled to see who they send out. What are you thinking? First, first guess. My first guess, I will, I will go with Edgeby because I think you're right. Maybe they've just been holding on to him in case. But I think, I think the France side's gonna send out Eugen. All right. Well, we'll wait and see. Dude, I can't. Yeah, I, I have played on Switch, and it is really, really rough. The, there's like input delay, and mm. and the other thing about Switch games is that every Switch game has VSync, and you can't turn it off. Right. That's that's un the unfortunate reality of playing on the Switch. All right, here we go. It's Tempo versus Matt. So oh, we, it's Tempo. One of us. We're we're way off. Going on. Yeah. <laughs> but I did say I wanted to see Tempo play, so we'll see, or we'll all get to see what I was talking about. And there it is. You see him rip that shot. I still just love that Tempo is, you know, rocking the Psionics backwards hat. Right. Not many players use toppers anymore. I, I can't even think of another player that does right now. Okay, Chris, awesome man, thank you so much. We have uh, we have received a donation. Oh heck yeah, let's go! We'll throw that to the players. Well, this is a good chance here for Tempo. Back down to the ground, late shot.
should be a goal. Oh, look Slotted. at the slot. Woo! Tempo just, he's a very controlled player. You know, he's creating that, that advantage, that ever so slight advantage. Matt has to respect his touches and just makes a, just the slightest, uh, the touch where it leaves the slightest of openings. I mean, if this is a one-sided game, this is this is the best situation for Denmark. Mm -hmm. If you have, I mean, I guess, you know, France could always mix it up. Uh, they definitely could. But I uh, definitely think this would, this would put Denmark in the driver's seat. Matt, resource advantage, reset. Love this oh, reset. Oh, yes. I was thinking at the outset that they were, uh, were going to go for a, a bump play. Right. Because he's out ahead of the ball a decent amount there, but I oh, love that. That's beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous from Matt. Tell them so they feel the pressure. If you, uh, yeah, if anyone else wants to throw a donation, I, I will go ahead and just pass it along to the players. But we'll uh, we'll make sure they get word of it. Woody has stepped away for a brief moment. Probably going to investigate how to communicate the prize pool distribution. Good stop here from Matt. Matt wanted that boost, but it was grabbed by Tempo. Tempo might play keep away here. Oh, loses control. Matt into the air, air dribble cringe maybe? No, goes low and still powers through. Beautifully done. You could tell Tempo was worried about it too. That's why he got up early. Oh yeah, the air, the air dribble cringe. What do you, you know? That that's about as high percentage as you can get. You have to respect it, unless you're just trying to play a next level mind game and just hope that they don't go for it. All right, Matt was already in the air. Wow. Valiant effort from Matt on the goal line, but unable to keep it out. Look at how quick Tempo's up to the ceiling. Yeah, wave dashing off the ceiling even. Sheesh. Matt was playing catch up. It was mm. always a step behind. Never got comfortable footing on defense. Much more low scoring than the Wisty Diaz matchup. There's that Dominus hook shot. Bump, ooh. Boost does spawn, but it is an awkward position, but Matt gives up the ball. Wow. <laughs> there it was. You, it's gotta be, it's gotta be annoying. You know, you see your opponent's car ahead of the ball, and you just know, you know it's coming. You know it's coming. What do you do? Small pad grabs up early. Really nice patience and execution from Tempo. Mega flick, Matt has no boost. Tempo just wanted to poke the ball at him for it to save so he could keep on boost denying him. More boost denying. It's gonna stay in the air, actually. Committing all the boost to the shot. This is an all in play. Whoa, oh, baby. Dire situation here. Poor Matt, yeah, that was, I mean, the, the, the... That's nearly a minute of zero boost. Yeah, that's very tough to witness. Tempo did a great job. Well, I mean, you called it out earlier. There were some plays where he's, you know, he's throwing one towards a target with no intention of scoring. Yeah. It's just to further boost and not. Yeah, here, hold this while I go get boost. Yep, yep. Well, you, you outlined it earlier, and this looks like it is obviously a close match, but Tempo does seem very confident. 
So maybe Denmark will have this in their back pocket for game seven. I definitely uh, think it makes it really interesting now. Oh, yeah. Because it, it, France, ha it looks like they have the edge in twos, they have the edge in threes. But Denmark also did steal that first That's three right. three games. So you know, Denmark has to feel so confident now that knowing, like, okay, we, we did take a threes game before. We lost both. Uh, twos or wait, no, actually, did they? They, I think, I think they, they split a, a two, three. Yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. split a threes and a twos game. So Denmark's just thinking, okay, we got an extra life. Mm -hmm. We can win either mode they throw at us, and if we have to go to ones, we've got the position on them. But like you had mentioned before, you were expecting Eugen. Maybe we will see Eugen come out. I think we will. Did they go next? No, it's just uh, Clavin screwing up. <laughs> Operator error. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. And now I guess uh, oh. if you're France, do you go uh, do you go twos or you go threes? Ooh. I think I would probably go twos. I feel like you just have more control. Like there's less randomness with two v twos. Yeah, three v threes. You Just, might so it's you might be zero zero stalemate, yeah. right? And then that final thirty seconds hits and yeah, I think twos is the is what they'd probably go for if I had to guess. Two, twos is like the most popular game mode right now too. Oh you yeah, you just for get sure. that you get that extra security of a teammate having your back, mm -hmm. uh, but also the ability to go for those Diaz style. That's right. Solo plays. Yeah, a little bit more space. Which I love, because mm -hmm. I do. Because you, I, I mean, you I cook. I know how to. I know. How to, I mean, I know how to have a double flip reset every, every, <laughs> you know, here and there. <laughs> well, get the first one. Whoa! Double one. All right, and then we're back. Bang! Just knock that sucker in. Right back on the grill. We back to threes. Yep. That's how you cook. Back to threes. Okay. All right, they're going threes. They must feel to, good I about mean, it. To, yeah, yeah. I, to be fair, the threes. They, I mean, if you look at how much time France mm -hmm. has spent leading a game, mm -hmm. threes is probably the game, yeah. uh, the mode that they have been uh, leading the most. Uh oh! I flip reset myself into a grease fi <laughs> grease fire. <laughs> All right, here we go. Match point for Denmark. Denmark must have heard me hyping up France before we kick things off. Took it personally. It's a good chance early for Denmark. That shot deflected wide by Matt Nico. Looking for a bump. Doesn't find one. Denmark have the initiative early on. Ooh. That one slotted rebound out in the heart of the field, and that is a goal. Denmark opening game six with an abundance of pressure. You can see Tempo sweeping across the face of the goal as well to remove any remaining defenders. Less, less than 30 seconds in, James. Oh, but okay. the, there's a, a response, a kickoff goal in threes. That is... That's pretty brutal. That is, that is unfortunate. Heavy cheat from Edgeby. Look at that. Just right around the ball. Well done by Matt to, uh, of course, just secure that open net. 433, and not even, again, you know, I was about to say it, not even 30... 30 seconds in, we got both squads on the board. Back to where we started. Edgeby waiting for a pass. The pass does come. The shot oh. right there on target. And I love this decision to pass. In all of my ranked games, somebody's going for a flip reset right there. But when you're on a real team, you're passing that ball. And you can see Edgeby knows it's coming too. He swung out wide, gave himself plenty of, uh, you know, plenty of angle to work with there. See where Nico throws the ball. Well done by Denmark to reclaim the lead. Action on 10 here in game six. Not even, I can't, not even 60 seconds in. And Already three goals. I mean, action packed game six in three victories. Tempo, good backup. Take this into the air. Wanted to bump Matt off the ball. Wasn't able to do so. Well, I thought oh. you might see a ground pinch, but the defense had no boost. Tempo on zero. 
Edge B out of boost. When Nico was B, Tempo even getting, looked like bumped a little bit. Mm -hmm. Gritty goal there. Gritty France. goal. And you can kind of feel that, uh, you can feel that desperation in this game. You know, both sides are a lot less uh, defensive. You know, they're posturing very aggressively. They're trying to create opportunities rather than wait for an opportunity. Oh, what a shot. Woo! Good defense there from Nico. Only has two boosts in the tank, though. Has to be careful here not to put that ball in a dangerous spot. Tempo demoed. Shot from Eugen off the bar. Back-to-back -back shots from France. Come close, but not close enough. It's Denmark now playing off their back wheels. Like that touch, the pass Ooh. over. Didn't have enough lateral movement. Nice idea though from France. That pinch, send it downfield. That's her. The contest, Edge B stays with the ball. Center ball denied by Eugen. Denmark, a high line of pressure. They are not not allowing France space, cutting things off as quickly as possible. You see Tempo there, no rotation out. Uh, another immediate challenge from Nico. Edgeby does position a bit safer as things progress down the field. Matt did steal that corner boost as well. This is a low boost situation and a demo on Tempo. Things shaping up nicely for France. Edgeby leaves the ball for Nico and grabs the boost himself. Eugen trying to get back to the ball, but that bump was actually big because mm. Eugen could have been able to get a 50. Pass back down, deflected. Edgeby on empty, gives up. Oh, Whoa, Matter. Not really the, the touch he was looking for. Flip reset, got the double. There's oh. the shot, posting in, and Denmark take the lead late. Look at all this work Tempo has done. The flip reset to the backboard, disrupting mid, uh, Matzer here as... It even landed a bump. Yeah, as Edgeby squeezes that in the near post. Denmark, they grab a lead with 1.39 to play. And France have definitely been less potent on the offensive side this game specifically. We've seen, you mentioned it before we got in, that the, the, the time uh, um, leading in the prior two 3v3 matches was so heavily in favor of France. And for Denmark to have the lead even after giving up a kickoff goal. Mm -hmm. I think that boost of confidence after winning the one is just overflowing. And Tempo, the key player, I think the MVP for me for Denmark, especially after getting that one's victory. Might be enough to help put Denmark over the top in this France versus Denmark show match. Can they hold? Final 45 seconds. There's a demo. I like Maybe that. Maybe some First space. Touch. Matzer. Reset. Double, Double reset, reset towards the target. Oh, someone's got to shoot oh. that. Instead of going for the demo, you got to shoot that. Did so much work. And that's going to be the response goal on the counterattack for Denmark. That was such a clean double flip reset. The opportunity was there. France came up short on the attack and Esby made sure to punish that mistake. The low 50, enough to force it past his opponent. And now they've got a two goal lead. France gonna have to throw it all at him. Matzer to the backboard, has the oh double. My good grief. <laughs> He nailed it top shelf. Look at this. Gets the reset. Oh my god. Yeah, bam. Hold on now. It's not over yet. That was nasty. We saw one kickoff go before this one. Contested, sent back into the middle for France. Trying to pass it out, almost got intercepted. Oh, Matt's past one. Nico does have the backboard covered. Tempo. Huge clear. Dinks it forwards. Well, no boost either for Matzer uh, there. 
Boost did spawn on him, though. He needs some help. Matt's over one. Nico's on an Where's island by himself, but there's no, no one no there. Man. Denmark will take the series in six. <laughs> Thanks, Clavin, for that sound effect. GG's. <laughs>